want to give you a very important information that you need to have a very high mark this year. A very good mark. That practical if we do it very well, we are in. So graph. Graph is one thing. You can uh, 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 make your setup, make, uh, get the table of values as a group or two or three persons because when the graph is something you must have to do by yourself. You have to do it. And by doing it by yourself, it means that if you make mistakes, you have failed everything you have done is almost like nothing. Because that one gives you more mark. The table gives you some math, but the graph is the main thing. Because from there, you make deductions and other calculations. So you need to learn how to do the graph and do it very well. And these are the things that will guide you. So I want you to pay very good attention. My advice after doing this, after learning this, get many more past questions. Plot as many graphs as possible. It prepares you. And gets you ready. So when you get when you enter the examination hall, you not find it difficult to locate your values and other things, locate your points on the graph sheet. So the more you practice it, the better you are. So as you are watching this video, as you are finishing, as you finish watching this video, look for that past question, look for the tables, plot as many graphs as possible. It will make you very ready that whenever you get obtain your table of values, within few minutes you are through with your graph and slope. You will enjoy the examination. All right, let's take this. Hello and welcome. Let's be fast now. I want you to look at this physics practical. Now we have a table. Look at this table. We are going to complete this table now. But there was something I discovered. Even in the past questions of well, from which we, this table was obtained, or if the students that performed this experiment, they made a mistake here. This, it was written 3.10. This was what I was talking about. But after writing, after entering figures in your table, values in your table, check what you have done. I was shocked to see something like this. 3.10. When I looked at it, I said that this thing is, is not correct. That something must have gone wrong somewhere. And I had to check. And I verified that what you are supposed to have here is 2.85 now everything about this table is okay if we had 3.1 without making it zero or 2.0 then it is wrong so always make sure that you have two decimal places here in this way in this examination just like we rightly have here now the question the question if you, the question the question paper says evaluate pay this equal to mo over mo so we are going to divide what is MO this divided by this will give you this. So this is what we are going to do now. Let me get my calculator. We we'll divide it very quickly because we are going to do this and plot the graph. So that is what I want us to do. We are going to do this and plot the graph. So watch out. So now let's do it very quickly. 1.60 divided by 6.60 gives us 0.24. Two. Now, three decimal places, very necessary. Don't make it two decimal places. When you have division or cosine or log or inverse, like if we have m over the super minus one, at least three decimal places. If you have four, it's not bad, but at least three decimal places. I gave it in the guideline. Check the previous videos, guideline. So we say 2.00 divided by 7.00. This will give us 0 0.2857. 0 0.2857. This to this divided by this 2.85 divided by 7.30 gives us 0 0.3904. So 0 0.390. Alright. This one 3.10 divided by 7.60 gives us 0. 4078 four, so 408 we round up so 4.50 divided by 8.00 gives us 0 0.563 now we get cosine the question says and uh, find cos theta so we get that's why we have this thing on the table so you follow what you are given on the in the question after getting your values then you check other things that you are asked to evaluate you start bringing them one by one it's not difficult 
After this, we are going to plot the graph and I will show you something very important. So continue watching. All right. So we are going to get cosine, cosine of 475, 0.28259, then cos 65. I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not taking your time. 0 0.423. 0.423 So let's get cos 55 0.574 Okay So cos 45 0.707 And finally cos 35 0.819 now we are going to plot the graph of cos theta against m o n o. So we are going to plot this against this. All right. So let's plot the graph of what? Graph of cos theta against m o over n o. So we we'll do it like this. Make it long and long. Like this. Okay, you draw it. Then let me clean this like so that I can do this thing comfortably. So you see the, the least value is 0 0.2. So here you have your cos theta. Here you have your cos theta. Here you have over n o. So vertical horizontal. So you have the least number. Value here is 0 0.2 for higher 0 0.56. So within this place, we can say which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can say 0 0.10 because it's 5, 6, 56. So we can 10, 10 can go like this 6. 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, and 0 0.60. So come to cos theta, that is the, the vertical. You check it, the least number 0 0.259, 0 0.89. So 8. Check plan 8. So you can spread it like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 30, 40. 5, 0, 3, 0, 7, 0, 3, 0, 9, 0, 1, 0. All right. So we can start plotting it. When this is 0 0.2, for this 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 2, is here. So cos is 0 0.29. This is 0 0.25. So by 5, 9, approximate 2, 6. So this is the value we bring it like this. This is our first value. Okay. Yes, I have corrected the 0 0.286. Alright, so we we'll put this like this. Alright. So the next one 0 0.286, 0 0.423. 286, 423. Right, where is it? 0 0.286. Yeah. 0 0.29 8 is approximate to 9 so there is 2 8 6 9 is here. Is here. so 0 0.423 4142 we are not using the graph book so I pray we get the exact points all right so this one is like this take the next one 0 0.39 3039 is here. So we trace it up to 0 0.574. 5, 7, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Bring it like this. Alright. So I can clean this. I'm just using this line to trace it correctly. Next one. We have 0 0.48. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it up. Zero point seven one is here. So get it clean. 
All right, so next last one, 0 0.56, 0 0.5556, five, raise it up, 0 0.819, that is 0 0.8 to approximate. So, I think we have obtained the values now. So, it's time to like, get, okay, draw a straight line, which means the, the best three, we can get, you know, if we had used the meter, uh, grab sheet, it would have given us more appropriate value. But let me see what we can get here. All right. Okay, so one is off. All right. Draw it. It starts from the origin. It's okay. All right, so we can draw this, bring it like this, as our slope. This is our slope. So this place is changing the face angle. This one is changing cos theta. So our slope, our slope is what? Changing cos theta over, changing mo over no. That is this. So what is, what is this value? Yeah. This value, okay, let's start with cos theta. This upper value is 0 0.819 minus this value. 0 0.819 0 minus 0 0.423 0 0.423 over then this last value 0 0.563 0 0.563 minus this second to the last 0 0.286 0 0.286 so we can subtract and get our values so 0.819 minus 0 0.423, 0 0.393 over 0 0.563 minus 0 0.286, 0 0.277. All right, so when you divide 0 0.393, Divided by 0 0.277. So we call it 1.42. 1.42. This is our slope. So we have, if, we, if we are asked to evaluate, uh, this is our slope S. If we are asked to evaluate uh, K equal to root S over 4, something like this, you can still evaluate it. So that is square root of 1.42 over 4. Anything that you ask to evaluate, you can do it. So there are precautions. Eh? You avoid. You, I you make. I make sure. I, I ensure that I avoided error due to parallax and other things. I, I ensure that I avoided the um, random error and other errors that you have to. You have to put down there. But first one error due to parallax. Well, I don't want to go there so that uh, nobody says I'm exposing some things. So this is the most important thing here. You have learned how to plot this graph. And I know that having done this, this is going to give you a very good mark. Remember, do that thing you have to do very well by after entering uh, entering uh, the figures in the table of values, you go back and cross check the accuracies. I told you I saw error in the reading originally here. 3.10 was written here and here. Now I had to cross check and discover that it was a mistake. Right, so I had to like perform the experiment. I saw a 3.10, 3.10 in the past questions. I had to perform the experiment and I discovered that there's an error. That's why the graph is okay like this. So thank you very much. And we are going to also do more and more of this.